Now, Thailand's constitutional court has suspended Prime Ministerial candidate Pita Limjaro and Rath from the country's parliament. The suspension follows the court's acceptance of a case alleging that Limjaro and Rath was unqualified to run for the Prime Minister's post in the upcoming elections. Right after the suspension, protesters gathered at the Thai parliament to express their anger. A small group moved from their encampment near the parliament building up to the gates, shouted slogans against the suspension. The court case is centered on Pita's ownership of a shares in a media company. It is alleged that he did not declare an inherited shareholding in the media company ITV before running for parliament. The media company is currently defunct as it has no broadcast since it has not broadcast pardon me since 2007. So as per the Thai law, now members of the parliament are not permitted to own stocks in media companies. For the last 65 days, Thailand has been run by a caretaker administration. Now the Thai High Court has voted 7-2 in favour of considering an election committee petition. Though Peter is no longer in a member of the lower house, he is still eligible to stand as a candidate for the Prime Minister's chair. The Constitutional Court has given him 15 days to respond. Peter needs the backing of more than half of the parliament, parliament to be endorsed as Thailand's next Premier. Peter is also up against a fierce resistance from a military at odds with his party's anti-establishment ambitions. In the event of another unsuccessful attempt at becoming Prime Minister, Peter is expected to let the coalition partner for Thai party nominate a Prime Ministerial candidate. Beyond is now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the news on the move.